Yeah, so we, we opted to, to use Ignite's professional services in conjunction with our internal staff. Um, we had, you know, pretty large project, obviously, a lot of data, a lot of people, a lot of, there's a lot of change, right? I mean, people are, while people still have a drive letter, you know, we still, you still have to train people on the, the, the web user interface, right? You know, it's, it's, it's different. I mean, luckily, most of our population was familiar with OneDrive or Box or whatever, so it's not that much different, right? But, but we did do a ton of training as well. Um, but as far as the migration is concerned, um, you know, we work with Ignite's professional services. Um, ours actually took a little longer, partially because um, just timing around, you know, business change, you know, wanted to make sure that we cut everybody over at the right time and not conflict with, with uh, the needs of the business and stuff like that. But uh, so, yeah, I think we started in, in July and, and we probably, you know, as far as Ignite's concerned, we would have been done. And I think, uh, you know, I think October is what we were shooting for. And I think we could have pulled it off, but, uh, but there was just uh, some complications on, on the business uh, side on our side that uh, caused us to delay a little bit. So, so we just took, took a step back and, and, made sure we did it right and didn't, didn't conflict with, uh, with the timing around the business. And we ended up going live in February. So, uh, but I mean, as far as professional services is concerned, I, you know, if, if you're moving a ton of data, like we were, I would highly recommend it. Um, the staff at Ignite was just wonderful, you know, it ensured that our data, our metadata, everything got there. Um, so yeah, I couldn't be happier with it. Mm -hmm.